Ever since I was really little, I've been interested in computers, and you know, ever uh, going up through high school, I've uh, worked with computer applications a lot, and I started to learn how to program at a very young age, and like uh, I'm just fascinated with being able to create something from scratch. I chose the computer science minor because most math teachers in high schools and some middle schools do um, a lot in the computer department, either teaching computer classes, like programming, that kind of thing, or doing maintenance with the computers whenever they have problems, that kind of thing, keeping them up to date. I found it pretty interesting, though I had never done any programming or anything like that. Um, so I essentially, at first, just tried a few classes out, and, uh, and, then, I, and then I ended up enjoying them. Our best students are, are students that um, kind of defy the, the, uh, the, the computer nerd stereotype. Uh, there are students that come here uh, with uh, good communication skills, highly organized. We have some students that enjoy video games and think the computer science is like that and it's not. We have other students that are very good at using Word and PowerPoint and some of the other applications and again that's nice but it's not what computer science is. Computer science looks at a combination of science and a combination of technical skills. We're looking at the science of computer science where the students are learning how to think, learning how to solve problems, and learning the general concepts that are applicable to this discipline. Then there's the technical aspects that we use to help accomplish that. So we may learn how to use a database. We may learn how to use a particular operating system or to program in a specific language. And it's the combination of those that becomes really important. And what we look for uh, more than anything are students that are that are motivated, that want to be here, that want to learn. It's students that have uh, typically strong math or problem solving aptitudes. We've got the computer science major, which is the base major. Then we have an emphasis in mathematics with computer science math. We have an emphasis in business with information systems. And then we have a new major, the complementary major in computer science. The professors are always upgrading their knowledge. They're constantly studying and training new things. Since I've been at the university, they've started teaching three different programming languages in the first class. So they are in line with the Association of Computer Machinery, the ACM. They follow their curriculum, which is the standard across the world. When we look at the faculty in the computer science department, we really have three distinct and different faculty members. Chuck Koontz has been my professor for both classes now. And he is just, I love him to death. I come in every day with a smile on my face because I know that he puts up with my sarcasm and my jokes and when I don't get something I get frustrated and he just, he, he just puts up with all of it. He'll help you with whatever problem you have. Uh, he'll go the extra mile. You'll have no problems getting a hold of him. What I enjoy <clears throat> the most is, is seeing a student finally get it. <laughs> Professor Parker, he was the first uh, professor that I ever had here at AU and so he was the one that really got me hooked on computer science because I was still kind of going into it thinking that's what I want to do but not really sure but ever since I've had him he just made programming uh, so much more enjoyable that I have just wanted to stick with it. Sam Blanchard was he was actually um, a big help when I first moved here um, not knowing anybody in the area he was one of the first contacts that my wife and I had he went to church with us one time when we first got here. We've gone to lunch with him. He's just been there a lot to make sure that we were fitting into the, the situation here. We encourage internships, and uh, I would say that uh, the vast majority of, of students that, um, that go through this department do some kind of meaningful work experience, whether it's an internship for credit or whether it's just a, a summer work experience. Our biggest problem is having enough students for the internships that we have. It's really easy to get a um, out of school, um, real world internship. Uh, they, they do a really good job at basically just setting those up for you and sometimes almost just placing them in your lap. There's a different system that brings the users in. So let's talk about that real quick. The Software Research Center gives students, faculty, and then local companies or industry a chance to work together. We're looking at students being able to program or students being able to do systems management tasks and then how can faculty facilitate that and then the companies come in giving us real world problems. The job that I'm doing now probably didn't even exist when I you know, was a freshman but uh, I had that confidence and I knew that 
anything that came up, you know, I could learn about it, I could tackle it. The one-on-one -on -one attention that I got because of the small class sizes and the personal uh, curriculum that was designed for me to accommodate my own life schedule and goals um, made it just an excellent program. In a lot of ways, I feel that I was given an education that made me much more much more valuable than a lot of people I work with and I deal with on a daily basis in, in the IT world. I would hope that, that anyone that comes to Anderson University would recognize that uh, uh, whatever they're majoring in is going to end up being a stronger major if they um, take a look at, at, at a double major or you know at least our, our complementary major.